Hello guys, hope all of you are well and fine. Previously, I have already discussed to control the single DC geared motor with Arduino Uno. Today, I am back with a new video to control two DC geared motor with Arduino Uno and the L2910. So, what are you waiting for? This is Priya from Channel Electronics. So, let's start. Previously we have done the connection up to this that is we have connected a single motor with the L2 9810 motor driver shield. Today we will uh, connect the another motor on the L2 9810 motor driver shield and we should control the speed of dual motors. Okay. So here I have taken another DC geared motor and also a wheel. So. the l 2918 and the arduino uno setup and uh, brief description is in my previous video on the single motor speed control so please watch the previous video if you don't have watched it till now then watch this video here we should control the speed of two geared motors so we should uh, use two pwm pins so here as per the connection the Red jumper is the enable A which is connected to the pin number 5 which is already the uh, PWM pin I have discussed in my previous video. The orange jumper that is the in 1 to the pin number 6 and the yellow jumper to the pin number 7. Now comes the connection of the second motor that is this motor. Okay, For this motor we should use the in 3, in 4 and the enable B okay so we should take uh, male to female jumper wires and connect it here so the green jumper here is the in 3 okay we should connect the in 3 to the pin number 8 we are using the consecutive pins so that the connection is easier. Now the in 4 that is the white jumper you can see here to the pin number 9. And finally the enable B which is the uh, this jumper the brown jumper to the rightmost which will be connected to the PWM is connected to the pin number. 10 of the Arduino. You can see here I have connected it to the pin number 10 and here is the PWM sign which means the PWM signal. Okay, after the connection is ready, now it has the wheel. After attaching the wheel, we should program the Arduino. We can see in the coding section that no library will be required to run the code. So no library are initialized at the first part of the code and uh, then the input pins are declared here. The enable A in 1 and in 2 are declared for the first motor and the in 3, in 4 and enable B are for the second motor. Okay. The whole code is the same as the single motor speed control. Please watch the single motor speed control to understand this dual uh, motor speed control property. So in the fire setup part, the pin mode uh, is declared with the, all the pins as the output. Here uh, to rotate the motor A in clockwise uh, in maximum speed, we have to give a 
high signal in in one pin and low signal in in two pin and the PWM signal in enable a pin and since we are wanting the maximum speed so we should give the, here the 255 here I have said earlier in my previous video that we should give any value from 0 to 255 so uh, here also the motor D is declared with uh, the clockwise max speed in the counter clockwise uh, max speed the whole thing will be opposite that is the in one will get low and in two will get high and the uh, max speed uh, since it is max speed so the enable a will get 255 okay and in half speed we have to uh, give the 127 to the enable a okay and here the delays are there so that the function or the code runs for a specific interval okay in every section there is a delay you can change the delay if you want to uh, run the motor in uh, max speed clockwise for more time or less time according to the timing you can change the delay okay so that's it just upload the code now to your Arduino compile the sketch after compiling is done upload the code to your Arduino and you are all done we will use two uh, 18650 lithium ion battery 1200 milliampere hour you can also use 2000 milliampere hour but the uh, ampere rating should not exceed 2 amperes that means 2000 milliampere hour because the in the data sheet the max current that the L29A10 can suffer is uh, 2 amperes above 2 amperes it may, may damage Connected the VCC and ground of the L2918 to the 5 volt and ground of the Arduino to power up the Arduino throughout through the L2918. So at first both motors are rotating clockwise at max speed, then counterclockwise at max speed, then clockwise at half speed, then counterclockwise at half speed. And after the process it stops. So guys the project is very easy and much beautiful. You must try this at home and in case of any problems you must mention your problem in the comment section. I will solve your problem. I have already solved the problem uh, of some of you who have commented me and uh, described their problem. So go for it. Keep experimenting. So see you in the next video.